Hey everyone, this is Jake with my Bring Back, and tonight we're actually kicking off a new tutorial series on creating apps for the iOS Apple platform, which, as you guys know, handles both the iPad, iPhone, and also handles the iPods. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to step through it from the basics, starting out with actually acquiring the package to actually start developing these packages, or these, these apps. So I'm going to show you the two ways that you can actually acquire the Xcode 4 is what it's called. And uh, what's nice about it is Apple packages everything together. So basically once you get this Xcode 4, you also have the latest SDKs and some of the, some of the instruments and also the simulator so you can check out what your app is actually doing once you launch it. So what I'm going to do is, uh, as you can see, we're on developer.apple.com. Become familiar with it, know the rules and regulations as you become developers and whatnot. But uh, what I want to show you here is actually the programs. As you can see, this is going to be the first way you can actually acquire the Xcode 4, which is the bundle which uh, pulls everything together for you. You can become an iOS developer um, for $99 a year. You can pay your fee, and then that grants you access to the Xcode 4. The other way you can do it, is uh, right here the App Store the Mac App Store you can actually pay $4.99 to get Xcode 4 and so by paying the $4.99 you're not actually a developer so then once you develop an app you're gonna have to pay that $99 a year so kind of understand the system before you could jump into it but uh, if you're looking to get in cheap and just see if you know if you're made for developing apps and whatnot I would just recommend paying the five dollars in the Mac App Store and uh, creating your app, figuring out the, the Xcode 4, the Objective C, and then paying the $99 at a later date once you're ready to publish your app. So, so either choose between the developer package or the Mac App Store, download the, the Xcode 4, and with that again comes with the SDKs, the simulator, all that. So you don't have to worry about going anywhere else to download anything. Um, of course until the next SDK or the iOS platform comes out then you can update so as you guys are downloading and installing that um, I want to show you a cool little tool on their site they've actually got a member center so if we go back here you can see up at the top right member center anyone can become a member um, on their site with the member center you've got a bunch of different resources available to you as you log in you can see you got a developer centers development videos etc the cool thing, the iOS has an extensive database of libraries, coding how-tos, etc. that are all free. You don't have to be a developer, you don't have to pay anything for them. You can go in, check it out, and uh, see what it's all about. So, as you, as you get your Mac, um, Mac apps, either you're paying for it out of the Mac apps or stuff, you can still get the resources. So, just want to mention that to you as we, as we start developing and looking towards this. If you guys want to take a look at some of the sample code, etc., through there, go ahead. All right. So as you get the, you get it installed, which you're probably still downloading, and tell you, you know, given that it's 4.25 gigabytes, approximately, um, it's going to default into your Mac hard drive under the developer folder. And so as you click your Mac HD hard drive, you go to the developer. I have a developer dash old, which is the old X code. I wouldn't get the old Xcode. Developer Xcode 4 is so much better. Alright, developer. And uh, as you can see, you've got a bunch of folders within there. You're going to go ahead and click the applications, which gives you the Xcode program and applications to launch. And so from there, you'll see it launches, give you a little welcome message, and that's where we can begin with actually developing our, our projects. And, uh, and getting started into our Mac OS, I, iOS development of apps. So pretty excited for this series, guys. As we, as we dig in deeper, you know, do let us know if you want some special things that we can, we can teach you on as far as building apps and the different uh, facets of the apps themselves. 